Happy Monday, everybody, friends, family, followers. Here I am in our Gualual. Now, this is a bamboo grove, and I'll show you. Uh, this edge has recently been cleaned uh, by uh, my helper and friend, Jose. He came in here. I'll give you a step up. Now, today I want to talk about something. Here we go. Deep. See, it's bright out there. It's a little more shady in here. I wanted to tell you guys something that I've learned. Um, on site in Colombia, I've heard this uh, from sources I trust here in Colombia, and it's different uh, than what I learned in eighth grade biology class. Um, so when I try to tell people this story, a lot of people stop listening before the, I get to what I consider the good part. So I'm not sure if people are just generally not as interested as I am or... Anyways, I'm going to tell this on video and I'm going to get feedback from you guys, all you interested sciencey people. This is where I find you guys on the internet, not really like near me necessarily. So this is bamboo and inside each of these... Where am I? Each of these containers, it's hollow. If you chop that down, open up, it's empty. It's a container. So each of these containers we call canutos. And those canutos, just like with other trees, work as a pump. From the roots to the leaves. The leaves are solar panels. And the sun hits them and it activates it. And it spends water and carbon dioxide and the sun's energy. And it makes its sugary structures, which it turns into ligaments and yeah okay that water and sugar water i think it flows up and down through what's called the phloem and the xylem and trees but in these bamboo things it flows up and down literally through like a tube a big huge tube um you know four inches across or some of these bigger ones could be six inches across and you know the outer part could be half an inch to an inch thick but inside we've got a serious cylinder filled with water now when you chop this down like right now it's daytime the pumps working it's filled with water and I chop it down all of those containers are filled with water and it's stinky water too it's kind of funny uh, it's not like fresh water it's stinky and I've done this and this makes a bamboo really heavy because it's filled with water and other times you can chop it down and it, they supposedly can actually be empty. And let me tell you what time. Maybe I'll give you a second to guess. Okay, four in the morning is before sunrise on a new moon. That's the moon that doesn't exist. Uh, and why is that? A full moon, this bad boy right here will continue to photosynthesize. The light reflected from the sun by the moon to the leaves are enough to continue to operate the pump. So any night with the moon will result in some, it doesn't have as much uh, uh, water in it as the full day sun, but it will have water in them. Now, so the right time, according to the people in the know on the ground that are telling me these things, they've told me this for years, is four in the morning on the new moon. That's when you cut Guadua bamboo and I you know how do you see it well bring a flashlight okay so that's what they do that's the right way to do it now here's the very interesting part that's the right way to cut all wood because all wood is doing the same thing just because you can't see it the wood is heavier when you cut it during the day wood is going to be heavier when you cut it during the full moon and the wood is going to be the lightest when you cut it at night and the new moon because it's not going to be the pump is going to be deactivated without the light in fact i suspect there's a trick uh totally like a human trick where you could like somehow block the sun from the tree which would deactivate the pump and you could probably trick it into thinking it was night but that's a little out of my league as well i personally like to do most of my work in the day when i see things the sun make hay while the sun shines it's just the way i was raised so Chopping wood, which we don't do a ton, but the bamboo we do most, we prune most everything else, but this bamboo needs to be cleaned. We need to bring three and four year old bamboos out so that new fresh bamboos can grow up. Otherwise they, they get uh, they get all packed together and they start getting skinny. And uh, they get these nice thick ones. We, act, we need to cut them down. So this is something we've been considering quite a bit. 
We do do it. We don't always do it on the right time. I've got some super heavy ones over here that are filled with water uh, that made me think about this uh, to tell you guys. So I want to know, according to Colombians, so let me just break it down now. According to Colombians, the art of cutting wood is something the ancients knew more about than we do. We scientific people tend to think that we can control everything with the machines. Uh, we can dry it the right way. We just put it in a room and it'll everything will be fine. But the water in there, the sap that flows up and down is what, that sugar water, is what the termites go for. So the wood that is chopped out at the right time is also a lot more resistant to insects. Now, when you chop down the bamboo, the bamboo itself is a grass and it's got some sort of like insecticide properties. And so you're supposed to chop it and leave it standing in a grove of live bamboo what it was and that's supposed to help it as well while it does dry what the water that's in it does dry but the less water that's in it when you do that the better so that's the process i'm interested uh in people that uh work with timber work with wood what do you know um in terms of my actual building um i have pretty much learned to make anything work uh as long as you have some materials, you can make something work. So now I'm going to step away from the bamboo grove, try to give you guys a full view here as I conclude this short video on how tree sap works, or whatever, how water flows in trees on the sun. There we go. There's also something really pretty today I just want to end the video with, uh, in today's video with. I'm coming up here, and uh, let's look. Compost pile. I just wanted to show you guys these. This is a flower. I don't know the name. It's a bulb. It uh, doesn't matter how many times you chop it down. It's a little bulb and it comes back up. And it's blooming right now. And this is a special flower. We're going to try to keep our eye on it. There we go. It's a special, just incredibly beautiful flower that... Uh, we're going to keep an eye on apparently there's a bird that we haven't registered here yet that really likes these flowers and uh, supposedly it's here we just don't watch these flowers that's why we haven't seen it it's called Anthocephala, and that is i believe the bird that ladies is watching Ico Instante is watching these flowers for Anthocephala. and uh there's a little bamboo that brings it full circle little bamboo you can tell it's yellow now it's been dried hopefully it doesn't have any uh water in it ah yeah it's pretty light pretty light oh you can hear it listen you could kind of hear the water in there. all right guys i'll conclude this video and i hope you learned something i hope you send me some comments about if anything i said was interesting to you or you think it's a baloney you want to share with me what i really should be doing uh, let me know. I'm interested. That's why I do this stuff for feedback. Love and light.